the following contest is your main event. And the Jackson World Wrestling title settles for one fall. The king of parkour, John Hennigan in the house. Everybody knows him for his uh, agility, but man, this guy is strong. And then to top it off, there he is, the Destiny World Wrestling Champion, Josh Alexander. You talk about strong, you talk about tough. They don't build him much better than Josh Alexander. He just gets better and better and better. It's incredible. He's already awesome. Personally, one of my favorite wrestlers. Yeah, I'm a fan too, and he's just, to watch him continue to get better and bloom and blossom as an athlete, it's incredible. The development of Josh Alexander over the last handful of years has been unbelievable. Coming back from the career-ending neck injury and fighting his way back to the top of the mountain, the current Destiny World Champion and a former Impact World Champion. And the fans at Destiny, they feel like they've, they've really been a part of the entire journey. It feels so connected to him and his career and his success. Well, this building is so special and Destiny Wrestling is so special to Josh Alexander. This is where his career ended. This is where his career restarted. This is where he signed with Impact Wrestling. And this is where he's at home. Yeah, the Don Kolop Arena is definitely Josh Alexander's house. You know, we we're going around this afternoon and, you know, Josh is the type of person that gets to the building early. And when he's coming to the Don Koloff Arena, he comes with his wife, Jen, in check, and with his kids, Jet and Lucas. And then this is home to the whole family. Yeah, I love the fact that his whole family comes. Because uh, that's who he's fighting for, to feed that family. And, you know, Hennigan's flashy. And look at the sparkly tights and all the breakdancing moves and parkour. And Josh Alexander is the opposite. He's tough, he's coming here to fight. No flash, just fight. Yeah, the thing about Hennigan though is, he is still very skilled. Don't all let flash all fool, don't let it fool you. He really can grapple. Yeah, high level college wrestler, studies submissions, strikes. I mean, pound for pound, one of the strongest guys I ever grappled with, to be honest. I was really impressed with his strength. And look at the agility, that parkour uh, capabilities of him just gives him an advantage over just about anybody. It's funny, those, you know, he has breakdancing skills. I know it sounds funny, but uh, the breakdancing kids out in, uh, in California, they're becoming some of the best PJJ practitioners in the world. Yeah, absolutely, because it's that, it's that fluid movement that you see. It goes through Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, for those that don't know BBJ. 
BJJ. Yeah, BJJ, right? I got P- it right. PBJ? <laughs> Peanut butter and jelly? Peanut I'm butter getting, jitsu? Now, now I'm getting hungry. Shove off here. Big, oh, Josh Alexander drops him. Yep. That smart move, get to the outside, recover a little bit, figure out what went wrong. Yeah, his demeanor just changed that big tackle. Yeah, John Hennigan's a little upset. He likes to have his fun, but he does take his wrestling seriously at the end of the day. Where is he going? He's obviously not leaving. He's coming back. Okay, it was just posturing, so to speak. Yeah, it was all fun and games till he got that. T- what the heck is this? Oh, it, look, he's mocking Josh Alexander. I don't know if I'd do that. Tim Hortons makes headgear? Tim Hortons has to pay Destiny World Wrestling for all that advertising. Millions around the world streaming live. <laughs> Harry D is going to help him secure the headgear on. Harry D, the man of many skills. Josh Alexander is like, what is going on here? That beard's coming in nice. Alexander does not look impressed. Yeah, I wouldn't want to mock somebody like Josh Alexander when you're in the middle of a fight with him. I have to think this little bit of mind games here by John Hennigan. I think it's pretty tough to get into the head of Josh Alexander. If anything, you're going to piss him off, and that's something that I don't think you want to do that. Single leg, go behind. Oh, look at that reversal by Hennigan. The headgear made him an amateur wrestler. Oof, that key lock. Oh, wow. Leg trip there. Oh, look, Hennigan might be getting under Josh Alexander's uh, skin here. Ooh. Oh, standing shooting star press. Count it to. Yeah, oh, Josh Alexander now. Vacating the ring to regroup. I'll tell you, I wrestled Hennigan once, and the forearms he hit me in the chest with were incredible. Just almost breaking my ribs, oh. taking the wind out of me. What the heck is he doing? He just went around the world with that headgear. Okay, I'd say they're one for one right now. If there was a score, I'd say it's one all. Oh! Oh, what a strike by Hennigan! Reverse drop to hold by Alexander! Oh, he's going for that ankle lock! Let's see what Hennigan's gonna do to get out of this here. He gets to one foot. Oh! That's a lot of spinning around to eat a right hand. Yeah. Oh! Low cross body to the back, patented Josh Alexander offense. Yeah, he got a little fancy and took a straight right. Hennigan now retreating to the outside. Oh, a little peekaboo by Hennigan. Oh! Sneaky tactic, but effective. Tripped up Josh Alexander. What's this now? He's going up top. Perched high. (laughs) 
Well, all that momentum from that Capoeira type maneuver following through with a brilliant clothesline leveling Josh Alexander. He's in a bit of trouble here. Yeah, and like I was alluding to earlier, there's a lot of pomp and circumstance to Hennigan, but it always ends up with some violence at the end of it. He kind of like tests your patience. He plays a little cat and mouse with you, plays some mind games, and then he has those vicious strikes and those moves to follow it up. Attacking that surgically repaired neck. Notice how smooth he is. He hits, he hits that hanging neck breaker, then rolls him right over smoothly into the cover. Hennigan is just, he's a technician in the ring. His tactics earlier on, I, I must admit I was questioning, but the end result is he's in control right now. Schoolboy Roy up by Alexander. Punishing strikes by Hennigan. Brilliant kick in the corner, dropping Alexander. Oh. You had alluded to that surgically, or that, that, that horrible neck injury that Josh Alexander had suffered, and Hennigan is focusing in on that. Yeah, jo Josh's neck doesn't have the flexibility. I mean, it, it can't go that far back. This has to be putting pressure on the nerves and discs. John Hennigan is exactly the kind of opponent that gives Josh Alexander trouble because people that come straight at Josh Alexander, he can, hand, he can handle well. People that come from different angles, oh, roll up there by Alexander. As I say that, he almost takes Hennigan down for the three. Oh, he's hooking him here, C4 driver. But Hennigan slips out. What beautiful counter by Josh. He caught him in midair and turned it into a German suplex. Both guys down now. Anyone's contest. Alexander shaking that head of his. You gotta wonder what type of damage he suffered to the neck. I think the advantage here is gonna go to Josh Alexander. You know, he's battle-hardened, currently wrestling a lot. He's able to with, withstand a lot of punishment and recover, and he's the first to his feet. Alexander with a more stable base than Hennigan right now. Just a club on the back and a chop. Josh is just getting warmed up. Hennigan out of the way there, but eats a boot. Oh boy. Oh! Look at this combination of moves. Beautiful Northern Lights! Back in the back of his head, gave him a four. I mean, to a northern line. I mean, how smooth was that? Yeah, Josh is really hitting his groove. This is the style of match that Josh Alexander needs it to be in order to be successful. Wrestling, moves, tough hitting. That's him in his element. Yeah, Hennigan, he has a few more years' experience, but he doesn't have the current work uh, schedule that, that Alexander has which can work to the benefit of Alexander or the hindrance. I mean, he keeps one of the most cruel. Oh, he's going for that C4 again. Oh, again, look at those forearms. Hennigan comes at you from so many different angles. Oh, German suplex and Josh Alexander maintaining control. He holds on, he's another. There's two, still got the grip. Holding on, Hennigan's in trouble here. Oh, holding the rope, smart move. Oh! Three in the bridge, two! Oh, almost a three count. Oh, that was so close. Three big German suplexes by Alexander, almost got him the win. Hennigan's in trouble. That was two and 15 sixteenths. Just a sliver. I think he was out for the first two and just Regained his composure in the last second and just kicked out on instinct alone. Whoa. Oh! Oh! That 
that's what you're dealing with with Hennigan. It wasn't smooth, but he's able to recover, and he's got the pin. What an inside roundhouse. Did you hear the thud when his foot hit the head of Josh Alexander? Man. Josh isn't moving after that kick. You always talk about a boxer that has heavy hands. John Hennigan has heavy feet. Because when he kicks you, the force and the torque is unbelievable. So he missed the rope with his foot, but he was able to compensate in midair and still connect. Yeah, most wrestlers would lose that move, not be able to execute it, but Hennigan is so athletic, still able to follow through and hit a punishing kick that almost got him the win. Yeah, I'd love to see the replay on that because you can see his eyes located his target, made the adjustment, and connected. Solid. Oh, Hennigan's got him up. What's he going to do here? Looks like he's going for an Alabama slam. Whoa. Shiny Wizard with authority. Josh Alexander able to kick out there. Woo, this is getting serious, folks. But again, that Shining Wizard doesn't only just hit the face, doesn't just crunch the nose, but it also attacks that neck, makes that head snap back. Snap it's back. a constant focused attack by John Hennigan. Again, we're deep into this contest. Both guys down, Hennigan's to his feet first. I haven't seen Josh Alexander in this much trouble in quite some time. Hennigan setting Alexander where he wants him. This could be Starship Pain. Starship Pain, no. Oh, look at Alexander. He's got the ankle lock. It's he's pulling. Yet. He's pulling Hennigan to the center of the ring. Brilliant counter to Starship Pain, snatching an ankle. He's trying to rip it off. Oh, look at Hennigan fighting out. He's able to leg pick and follow up with a beautiful strike. Back and forth. Wow, what ground and pound. Josh fighting from from his back. Hennigan's strikes have more power because he's at the high ground. Punishing knees by Hennigan. You know, Josh Alexander is the stronger competitor when it comes to pure strength, but Hennigan is using angles and able to get the advantage over him here. I don't yeah, think those... Hennigan knows that, 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 that Alexander's on his feet and pissed. Hennigan can't believe his eyes. Oh, this is not where you oh, want to be with Josh Alexander. No, Hennigan, Hennigan's on equal ground now. He's not going to win this exchange if it stays here. He's got to hit and move. Come from different angles. Head up, Josh Alexander. I'll take him every day. And when it breaks down into a sheer fight, you got to bet on Josh Alexander any day. Yeah, Hennigan needs mind games. He needs cat and mouse. He needs hit and moves. He needs the leverage and advantage. Straight up, Josh Alexander will beat him seven days a week and twice on Sunday. Oh, eye poke he there. He just poked his eye. Hennigan might be more at home up here in the top rope than, than Alexander. Oh, it looks like Alexander has the advantage. Hennigan's oh, what, leg what, is what, caught in the rope. What do we got there? That fan. It's just... He passed that, oh! Hey, what, what was in that? What was in that? What, what, what was that liquid? Josh Alexander's down and prone. Johnny Impact getting to the top here. He's maneuvering his way up. What do we got? Oh! Nobody home! Alexander's out of the way. He's got him. He's hooking up. This could be, is it? He's, oh, oh, up. G4 Spike! Wow, Hennigan's head came crashing down on the mat. John Hennigan tried pulling out all the stops, but in his house, Josh Alexander successfully defends his coveted Destiny World Championship. What a match. I would love to see that again any day. Not that particular match, another match, because that was awesome. These guys are well matched. Josh Alexander, at the end of the day, still your Destiny World Wrestling Heavyweight Champion of the World. And Josh Alexander immediately strapping the title back on to Sagan. John Hennigan, congratulations, you brought a fight, but I'm the champion. What an unbelievable main event.
Oh, there you see his wife, Jen, his sons, Jet, the younger one, and Lucas, the older one there. Oh, I love this when he brings the family oh, into the Oh, yeah. This family is at home in this house and in this ring. Josh calling for a microphone. What a, I'm still a, a kind of speechless after that match. That was, I know I'm not supposed to be speechless, I'm an announcer, but wow, what a contest. That was awesome. So many emotional moments in this ring for Josh Alexander and his entire family. Destiny Wrestling's first family. The Wrestling family. This right here, this right here is the Destiny family. Rebellion in April 20th. 